If you have a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, you may be wondering if you should upgrade. And in my personal opinion, I always believe that you should keep a phone until it's no longer receiving security updates, unless it's broken. But there are a few nifty specs on the S24 Ultra, and if you have the opportunity to get an upgraded phone, maybe through your carrier contract, then these are the features that you will see changed between the two. Now, I won't be mentioning anything that has not had a major change between these two phones. So if you want to see a full review of the S24 Ultra with all the in-depth analysis, make sure to subscribe. Now first, these phones are almost twins. If you look at them in front of me, they look very much alike in terms of design. They are very close in size with each other. There's very, very minimal change between these two. With the S24 Ultra being just slightly taller and the camera lenses are just slightly lower than the S23 Ultra. So like I have an old case for my S23 Ultra. This can actually fit on the S24 Ultra, but it's very, very close. It kind of touches the bottom of this lens right here. So I don't really want to use it on my newer phone. Obviously the colorways have changed. I 100% prefer the lavender colorway of the S23 Ultra. However, I will say this matte finish around the edges, that titanium frame, it definitely does not pick up scratches as much as my older shiny aluminum frame did. Now, while the phone is still Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the rear, just like the old S23 Ultra, the screen is Gorilla Armor on the new phone. So this will supposedly keep it from getting as scratched up and it also reduces glare and reflections. For example, you can even see in here in my studio, like there's not a lot of glare and not a lot of reflections. Compare that to the S23 Ultra, Ultra and you see tons of glare and tons of reflection. So that definitely, definitely makes a difference. And it's a huge difference. It looks really good. Like, look at that light. You can't even see it on the S24 Ultra. Like that's, that's really cool. But we have to have a little discussion. If you are super used to those vivid striking colors of the S23 line, you will notice between the two, the S24 Ultra looks a little bit muted, just a tiny bit. It's not as vibrant as the S23 Ultra. Even with the correct settings enabled or disabled for a vivid display, the new one is a lot easier to see in sunlight though, for sure, because of that lack of reflections and the higher nits brightness. It is higher nit brightness. For example, we just got snow here in Colorado. It's really bright outside when the sun is out, right Right now, so it's very, very obvious whenever I take these two out side by side that there's like no reflections on the S24 Ultra. It's pretty neat. And if you like having a flatter display, well, you probably want to choose the new S24 Ultra over the S23 Ultra, which had a curvature. Now there are some upgrades to support. Samsung is now going to support the phone for seven years of operating system updates same for security compared to the four years of OS updates and five years of security updates on the S23 models. However, that released about a year ago, so minus one. That was a big, big deal to us security and privacy nerds when we heard about seven years. But the question is, will your phone last seven years? Well, I guess that's TBD. We have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in this S24 Ultra. That's a step up. It also has 12 gigs of RAM no matter which store size you get, so that's pretty cool. I am getting some really good gaming in with the new S24 Ultra, and so far I am liking what I see, but I do want to test that further to see if there's a comparable difference. You will notice this weird little slit thing in the bottom. That's one of the dual speakers. It does sound better than the previous model, but it's a very, very minor upgrade, I would say. Now, speaking of these phones, I do have an affiliate link for Samsung phones down below, and the S23 Ultra is still a great phone to pick up, and it's it's on sale, a few hundred dollars off. So if you want to grab one at a discount, you can click that link, which also helps the channel. And if you ain't buying anything today, that's totally fine too. You're just here to hang out with me. So thank you so much for being here. You can also help by subscribing. That's it. Thanks for the support. <laughs> so I also wanted to touch on the software and AI, which will make your photos look a little bit different now on the new model, but the hardware is mostly the same for those lenses, except for the periscope lens, which is now a 50 megapixel F 3.4 aperture and five times zoom. So there is a slight difference in terms of the lenses. I noticed that even though the new phone has less optical zoom, the resolution is higher. So the photos from far away do look sharper. So 
no, I don't consider this a downgrade, even though a lot of people were questioning it. I do think this camera does a better job. The aperture is wider too, so that means that it's getting more light into the sensor. That's how aperture works, and it will look better in dark settings whenever you use the zoom. 4K 120p in pro or slow mode for video, that's new, that's cool, but whoo, lordy, that will take up a lot of space. I ain't never using that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I've been having quite a bit of fun with the new AI editing tool. I think it's really funny to use it, but I might find some useful ways to work with it. This is not available in the older model either. There are some new AI features in the S24 Ultra other than just the photo editing that might come to the older model, but it depends depends on if it requires the new Snapdragon chipset or not. I will go into more detail with those in my full review. This includes a live translate while in a call, browsing assist in the Samsung browser can summarize or it can translate for you, which is pretty cool. Circle to search. This is probably my favorite. It's pretty dope. As a vintage toy collector, I collect a lot of Sailor Moon vintage toys now. I'm gonna use this all the time when I see a picture of some vintage Sailor Moon thing. I'm gonna circle it and let it tell me what the heck I'm looking at, because half the time I don't know what those toys are, so I don't know what to search in Google. This is gonna save me a lot of time and probably be very expensive for me because I'm buying vintage toys. <laughs> I love buying things so much. Now, if you do wanna see a little tutorial on how to use all those new AI settings, how they work, and some really important settings that you do need to change if you are concerned about privacy, then definitely subscribe because I'm writing videos about all of that too. Also, this video is not sponsored. I purchased this S24 Ultra, though I do have a loaner from Samsung that I'm gonna use for my review as well. So if you wanna support the channel, you totally can. You get perks when you do so on Patreon, like early access to these videos. You can also join as a YouTube member and get the same thing. You also get special Discord server access too. But of course, just liking and commenting and subscribing is totally free and always appreciated. Now the standard MSRP price of the new model did increase over the original cost of the S23 Ultra. So that can be a con. Overall, I would say there are some improvements, but minor, minor upgrades. So if you are choosing between the two, the biggest features for me to decide whether I wanted the S23 Ultra or the S24 Ultra would be the longer support time from Samsung, the AI features, which I'm starting to have a lot of fun with, and the brighter, less reflective screen, which is so useful here in Colorado. Let me know what you think. Bye y'all. And that's it, okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> now I have to send this to Samsung so that they don't charge me $750. Thanks Samsung. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you.